Round six of the FIM MX1 MX2 Motocross World Championship took place at Saint Jean d'Angely Circuit in Western France. And Moto number one saw a terrible start for Tommy Searle as his championship competitor, Jeffrey Hurling, stormed into the lead early on race one, on lap one. Uh, just behind him it was Jeremy Van Horbeek making it a Red Bull 1-2. Tommy Searle eventually fought through and found a way past Valentin Tellier to go third, but by then he ran out of time because Jeffrey Hurlings and Jeremy Van Horbeek were already too far ahead. But Jeffrey Hurlings, though, bouncing back after the disappointment of the Brazilian Grand Prix two weekends ago where he failed to make the podium, he was back to winning ways. So too, just behind him, was the number 89 of Jeremy Van Horbeek picking up another podium finish in the uh, second race. Number seven, Arnold Tonus, made a return from injury and started in third for much of the race before finishing an eventual seventh. But moto number one belonged to Jeffrey Hurlings. MX2 race two, and this time Tommy Searle got a better start, leaned in on Jeffrey Hurlings going down the start straight. The Dutchman not getting the cleanest getaway, but Tommy Searle then eventually found himself in second position behind Arnold Tonus, who led for three laps. Tonus eventually fell to Tommy Searle. Just behind them, though, Jeffrey Hurlings eventually got caught up in a tangle with Arnold Tonus in the battle for second position, leaving the Swiss rider a little bit amused as to why he was taken out so aggressively in the midpoint of the race. That allowed Jeffrey Hurlings to go through into second. Tommy Searle, though, was then the leader. He led from lap four all the way to the end of the moto. Just behind him, it was Jeffrey Hurlings. Third was the number 89 of Jeremy Van Horbeek. And fourth, making a bit of a late surge, was Joel Rulons. But the win belonged to Tommy Searle. Hurlings came home in second. That was good enough for him to win the Grand Prix. Third was the Jeremy Van Horbeek KTM. That was your podium as they finished pretty much. Jeffrey Hurlings, Tommy Searle and Jeremy Van Horbeek. MX1 race one and Gauthier Paulin up the inside but Tony Cairoli it was about four gates further down that thought he had the whole shot until Xavier Borg came flying around the outside on the factory Kawasaki and Xavier Borg then eventually placed second to Cairoli in the early stage of the race. Gauthier Paulin though was on the charge and soon up into third place. Ken Dijker and Mattis Caro were having their own little battle further down the field. Caro or Dijker eventually coming home in seventh place. Clement de Sal found a way through on Rui Gonçalves. That put him into fifth place where the rock star energy Suzuki rider would eventually stay. And this was Gauthier Paulin going through on his teammate Xavier Borg. That put him through into third place and eventually closed down on second place rider Christophe Porcel and made this aggressive pass on his fellow French countryman. Tony Cairoli, though, was pretty much unchallenged at the head of the field on the Red Bull KTM. Until that was, Gauthier Paulin started to close in on the Italian five-time world champion. But Tony Cairoli, though, kept his cool, kept his nerve and took victory in moto number one. Gauthier Paulin was second. MX1 race two, Gauthier Paulin tried to anticipate the gate dropping early but uh, didn't do him any favours as once again Tony Cairoli swept through to take the whole shot. Just behind him was Stephen Frossart and uh, number 19 David Philipparts. Tony Cairoli though made a mistake on lap 5 and this allowed Stephen Frossart to go through and gave the French fans something to cheer about. He was able to lead then for the next four laps until Tony Cairoli found a way back through. By then, David Philipparts had joined the party and he then made a move on his teammate in the very next corner. So Frossard then went from first to third in his, well, two corners. Then at the bottom of the hill, Gauthier Paulin made this pass on Clement de Salle that almost left both riders down on the deck. And then Christophe Porcel eventually found a way up the inside of David Philipparts to go second. Tony Cairoli, though, was simply sensational. He came over the line to win his second race of the day, won the overall Grand Prix. Christophe Porcel was second, finished second overall. Gauthier Paulin, after a mistake, 
finished third, and that gave him third overall in the Grand Prix. It was a good day here in France at saint jean d'Angely for Tony Cairoli and also the organisers of the Motor Club Angerien. Tony Cairoli winning yet another Grand Prix. He still leads a championship as well as we head to one of his favourite circuits in Portugal in one week's time.